I don't even care about this quest anymore. I'm so annoyed at how stupid that was. This is where I came in. I actually am blind. Okay, this is where we were trying to go, and then... Bed chamber. Iris was supposed to be here. Well, she's dead. Gotta be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from oh, her. Oh, that's super frustrating. Time. Yeah. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day, Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Hmm. Got it. You want to leave this place, leave these bodies. Surprised? No, not at all. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm. Maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. <laughs> Good dog. Um. Rocky, what's up? Thanks for the nine-month resub. Have some hamburgers. Uh, Tortoise, thank you for the two months. And Dingo, thank you for the 28-month resub. Thank you for your... Continued support. Uh, well done. I would have rage quit after the first dozen times it healed. Thank you for the tip. That, I mean, I clearly I don't think I took that very well. I'm not a very patient person when it comes to stuff like that. Um, I was like, okay. I was trying to not be too like pissed off about it, but at a, after a certain point, that was just like that was just way too much. If it, like, any number of things could have made that slightly less annoying. It's like, if you could kill the painting after X amount of hits and then she couldn't reheal from that painting anymore, fine. Like, if she didn't heal a billion points a second, fine. Like, literally, just... She liked to sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. That was just, like, insane. I'll keep searching. I think probably, even if they had just made it so she healed a little less fast, that probably would have been way better. Iris von Everick adored flowers. But she would never want to destroy them. Mm. All right, I'll dig the grave somewhere else. Yeah, she was healing, well, she was healing really often, too. So it was like, she heals a lot and very quickly and very often. So it was just that was a very refreshing. This place seems suitable. Fight. Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. Crash for what's up, dude? Thanks for the eight months. Uh, 
I didn't know Iris von Everick, but the paintings here show amply that she and Olgird were a loving couple. Iris must have been happy, once. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear. Yet all deserve respite and peace in death. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. You two. Got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. Forgive me for you tearing great. you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. Oh, yeah. Forgot about this. I totally forgot. What is this place? My eyes. <laughs> the painted world. The work of Iris von Everek. How'd you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. You'd the painted world is rife with danger. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? So you examining the tracks outside? Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. Yeah. Okay. Spectres of Olgid and his wife, but why aren't they moving? This is a memory. But it's incomplete, blurred. You must peer closely and restore it. Pieces of tableware for an afternoon tea or breakfast. Probably not right. What? What was there? What was that? Painting palette. Iris was painting the manor. Ah, girl. Probably not right. What? Probably not right. 
right. Oh, is that third thing? The spirit from the step. Red often, well worn. Why? This is the worst area. I can't move. Okay. Perfect match. Great. Is there anything else here then? Oh, the painter's pallet goes here. Perfect match. What about the teapot? Okay, the teapot doesn't matter. We should get a dog. Or a dog and a cat. Even better. Oh, funny you should say that. When the rain comes, the dog will warm my feet and the cat will play with a ball of yarn by the fire. What do you think? Are you even listening? <laughs> Apologies, dear. I had my mind on my book. Is it that terribly absorbing? Hmm? Yes, uh, terribly. Know what? Let's go inside. Yeah, her dress is cool. Why? It's lovely out here. She reminds the me of the course right, actually. Singing, the bees buzzing. That's not a joke. Blissful, really. Sorry, dear. I feel unwell. I'll go in. You stay a while longer. Yeah, there used to be a panel for the chat rules, but I removed it. It seems unnecessary now that they added the feature where the rules pop up when you first get here. Wait, what? Did you just pull your sword for bees? I'll light this painting on fire and get shit on. Get out of here. What is that? Another memory? Eh, uh, that thing looks messed up. What is that? No, a nightmare. A fear embodied, which sooner or later you will have to confront. A what? What do you mean? I'm already afraid. A fear. A fear you'll have to confront. Okay, well, I'm already terrified. God damn it. Oh, yeah. I am afraid of this. Thanks. I forgot about these dudes, too. There was a crooked man. Had a okay, that one went to space. Ah! Another memory. Another memory, great. They're holding cups. Tattered decorations Flowers. for a special occasion. Wine cup. Just like the one Olgeard's holding. The wedding veil. Wedding veil, great. Perfect match. Perfect match. Oh. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my land. Custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. This is a nice house. Gladly, but I know this sounds silly. Yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My knight, you've seen to everything. Or spiders. Girl. <laughs> he looks kind of goofy. Walking like that with the glasses. Ah, oh, damn it all. <laughs> That's not the reaction I would have to giant ghost spiders attacking me in a painting. Oh. Two left. Okay. I didn't know you could jump. Oh. 
Oh, crap. Yeah. I was trying to wait for my, uh, Igni to come back for the bees. There you go. I don't even get any loot. Oh, that didn't hit them. It looks so crazy. Same figure. Same what? I'm scared. Why did you say that? I don't see what you were seeing. It's too dark. Another dream of the past. But this one's incomplete too. Just a little different than the past. Pastel Ravello. A Toussaint wine. Yeah, Expensive. the distortion is messing with my eyes. It's like, it feels like my contacts are messed up or something. Oh. Okay. Um. Got it. Olgierd's wife liked flowers. Oh, were lit in the pink tea ornamentation. Not this all. might be hers. She's there. Um. And then there's something we need to pick up. so dark I like I actually it's pitch black in here I don't see anything that's lighting up what's this a lavish feast trying so to the the guests pearls maybe Almost the fire was the fortune yeah the fire was lit there we go Ta -da. okay my darling is everything all right you seem pale out of sorts Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. <laughs> they still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll, ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. What? So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Oh, kid. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? Uh, what? Don't mind me. Interrupting your dinner, just fighting a specter. Is there another? So let's follow him out you again. I don't like this place. Ah, I don't like this place either. Mostly because it's hard to see. It hurts my eyes. The bedchamber. Towel stained with blood. Huh. A nightshirt. Never worn, I think. Blood stains. Someone washed their hands, then wiped them dry on that towel. What... what time is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, it's that's it. Cranberry Is that juice. blood? Have you hurt yourself? No, I was preparing Thanksgiving dinner. Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxen first soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvelous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait.
Okay. Next. Hello. Another blurred memory. My eyes don't like this. <laughs> it's so blurry. Uh, I'm supposed to get clues out of this. Okay, uh, I'm looking at your guys' view of it. It's brighter than mine. She painted all geared, but the details are off. Living tableau is missing something. Missing all the crap that goes on this side. That thing? Goblet, like the one in the painting. And then there were grapes. Fresh. Purple. As if someone just rinsed it. Is that it? Living tableau has got to look just like the painting. This goes here. Fits, I think. Maybe on this side. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this. <laughs> you were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. <laughs> no, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please? Mm. You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. Great slipper. Everything I have looks a bit weird. of work I should say to. Again? Olgeard, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. All geared. All geared. Is there a door here? No. Oh. Hi, weird ghost man. Ah, oh, come on. At least these guys are easy to fight. Say that and then I get hit twice. It doesn't help that the enemies are actually black shadows and the screen is like just black. These candles don't give out very much light. Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. Oh god. Blood pacts. Or on foreign presences. Who so or who's who's ever? I was gonna say whosoever, but it's who's ever. Summons a visitant into our realm risks much, whether flickering as a spirit in the ether or inhabiting the flesh of a designated host, the visitant shall strive to attain its liberty, and if it does, it shall wreak great havoc. Okay, I just finished watching season one of Westworld, by the way. That's what that reminds me of. A visitant must be summoned only within a protective circle, which shall bind it as no fetters could. The circle must be complete and eternal with no ruptures. Its line must be drawn with a steady hand, firmly gripping the chalk, since a stray step made through carelessness or the visitant's trickery can smudge the line. The circle must be further secured by a barrier in the form of lit candles made of beeswax. A circle thus protected shall stand as a sure and is inescapable prison for the visitant. Uh, it was really good. I felt like I understand what was happening. Here to or understood what was happening demons. up until the last episode, and now I don't have any idea what's going on. to fix them, and I can set out the candles. These wax candles. What's that? Manor was depressingly gloomy in the winter. It's really, really good. It just... I don't feel like I have any idea what's going on. The gates of mystery between worlds. Okay. Oh. Library of an occultist. First try. Chalk. <sighs> Black magic. Game of the Thrones is just porn. That should do it. What? Now for the candles. Sounds like someone who's never. Oh, 
Oh, I can't remember. <sighs> I need to think this through. Um, I feel like that's the opinion of someone who hasn't watched it or read the books. Um, what was I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna look at the book to, cause I forget what they where they told me to put the candles. Is it under quest items? I forget what the name of the book was that I just picked up. I don't, am I, what was the name of the book that I just picked up? Is it this one? No, that's Gwen. Do they put it up here somewhere? Oh, it's not in order, that's why. This one. Um. Okay, yeah, uh, circle must be further secured. It doesn't say. It says the circle must be further secured by a barrier in the form of lit candles made of beeswax. It, so it doesn't say where to put the candles. Does the other one say? I think it's become the popular thing to hate on Game of Thrones now. Yeah, it's like when something gets popular, then there's always the people who for some reason have to hate it because other people like it. Which is like a really shitty way of feeling about things. I knew a guy in high school who like he would outright say that he would that he hated things specifically because other people liked them. That was his only reason because they were too popular. Like, okay, Edge Lord McGee over here. Congratulations on hating things. I guess. Oh. All right, lame. let's try this again. Uh, so it doesn't say. I'm gonna guess vertices. And the circle? Uh. What about this? Mm, not even a fizzle. Maybe this? Nope. Botched it, I guess. Well, at least we get to keep trying. How about this? Come back! We must talk! Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once! Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. I wish to end our pact. I summon thee. Elekanamina, Tumatu Malakanamen. This flesh not be torn. Damn it! Fire! In here, quickly! The flames! Douse the flames! <laughs> What? It's actually on I fire? Didn't expect that. What? That's not gonna work, Geralt. Locked. What? How I'm is the door locked? Way out. Oh, let me in. <laughs> let me in the painting. 
There you go. Damn it. Smack in the middle of a raging blizzard. Gotta find shelter. Get inside. Oh, ah. Uh, can I... Is it still freezing me here? Oh, it is. Okay. That sucks. in a cup beer tankard but there was vodka in it so that's how he whiled away the long winter evenings probably not right I... so this is when he started smoking hmm, a marriage contract between iris and Olgeard. Her father must have oh God, been holding sorry. the contract. Like punched his ghost. <laughs> Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and get to the point, father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me, till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. <laughs> Believe me. You shall stay here, forever. Enough! You will not command us, you will... Did she just kill him? No! Servant! Oh, yeah. Take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. He hit his head on that torch thing and it killed him. What? Man, I would love to be done with this quest just so I could get out of this dark ass house, man. I can't see anything. I actually feel like I'm getting a headache from like straining to see what is going on on the screen right now. Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. That's pretty intense. He didn't love her, he remembered that he should love her. Oh, the caretaker. I remember. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence, matter. We'll take our places, mm. the same as then. You do the rest. Hi. Perfect match. Animal hair. Soup, maybe. Single place setting. No others on the table. Can I interact with it or? Okay. Um. Interact. There we go. Hmm. Oh, Something's oh. not right. Okay. Scratches. Devil's Grin, what's up? Thank you for the 10 month ball. resub. And Kumi, what's up? Thank you for the 7 month resub. Think this oh. was yours. God, every time. You actually ate Thank from you. these bowls? Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. Mm -mm. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. 
I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you. Care for the house. No matter what happens. Before, I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours. I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgird. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everek failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everek's greatest fear. Milkshakes? Another one milkshake? My dearest wife, letters from Old Geard to Iris, were I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you wither. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Old Geard. Why would the candles go out? What are they? God. Ah. Messed up whole yards. Boys are back in town. Iris's greatest fear. We don't have any health potions, I just realized. Oh, we also only have alcohol. Probably not a good idea to start the fight like this. I guess it's not really a fight. Oh, whoops, man. fight like old geared I'm glad that I fought him earlier because it, I wouldn't have noticed the similarities between actually fighting the real old geared and this like weird fake dudes I'm trying to use my Quinn alcohol even though it's gonna make me drunk but it'll help with my come on man oh bullshit Ugh, I really should not go into these fights with no health potions but it's like this quest is just one thing after another so there's no time or I haven't just like I haven't been thinking about uh, meditating so that my potions come back
Yeah, it was close. It's just that I don't have any food or anything. And I can't... Yeah, I can't even... Now we're locked into this, so we just have to be careful. Okay, um... Because I don't have any swallow potions or anything. We're just completely out of everything. And now we're locked into this because we've kept doing all the quests. Um, we have this one, which we can use if we're really desperate. How about that? We have water. We have one water bottle and then we just have a bunch of alcohol. That I accidentally picked up again. I need music? Why would I listen to music when the game has audio? I didn't mean to hit that second one. My bad. Shit, 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 shit. Come on. I'm trying to get my Quinn back, but it takes way too long. Quinn! Quinn, 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 Q. Geralt, if you would Quinn, instead of having this weird delay, that would be awesome. You wonder the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Happily ever after. Sucks when you use Quinn and it immediately gets destroyed. <laughs> God, are you serious? I should have waited till I got attacked by one instead of attacking one. Okay, what? Oh, he applied Quinn, but he didn't make the noise for it. Oh, this isn't good. fix this because we're gonna have to like either win this fight with no potions and no healing or go all the way back to whatever the most recent save was after all that other stuff i don't know when it saved to last because it auto brings us into this fight we don't have any chance before this even and i can't meditate right here and get my potions back oh if you hit it fast enough it gives you the potions <laughs> All right, now we're in business. Cool. Yes, good. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's drop these. If you hit it before they uh, actually engage you in combat, it does refill them. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I got so lucky. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, what is this guy? White honey. Um. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> I guess I don't know what. I don't think I don't know if there's an oil that would work against these guys better. They're just kind of weird monster things. Um Okay, good. Quen. Oh Quen. His Quen the Quen explo Okay, alright, Jesus Christ. The Quen explosion woke up one of the other things. Jesus. That sucks. Okay, we're gonna die before I even attack them. What the shit? Quen. Why, Geralt, why are you like this, actually? Why are you just actually terrible? Holy shit. You wonder the delusion you'll complete your tasks. Live happily ever after. Works on people? I don't think these are people, though. I don't think these count as human beings. What the shit is this? Yeah, that, that started off really bad. At least if we have to do it again, we know we can get the potions if we hit and fast enough. Nope. Yeah, that was... Holy shit. The Quen explosion woke up the other, uh, 
<clears throat> bad dude. The other old geared. Maybe if we get away from the other ones. Yeah, if anything, they're specters, but I don't know if they... I don't know if that even... They're just this weird kind of variant of things. I don't... I don't know. Yes. <laughs> I don't know how to fight him. See, it, it... The explosion is too much. Oh, shit, we hit a third one! Geralt wouldn't stop swinging even though I stopped clicking! Why are you like this? Geralt, you... You know what? Whatever. He actually, I wasn't even clicking and he just immediately swung and hit the dude behind me, behind, it wasn't even in, I, even my line of sight, he like turned around and hit the dude that was next to him. God damn it. Uh, the loading is so long. I just want to be done with this mission, like, I'm, after that Wraith fight, I'm not enjoying this any longer. I'm just like, <laughs> please just let me out of this stupid thing. And every time, too, I have to do this all again. And what? I didn't even... Okay. Fuck. Applying oil doesn't reduce damage against other types. May as well try specter oil? But they're not specters. I mean, are they? I don't know. I, I don't... They, like, aren't a thing. <clears throat> okay. Can we like go over here? Oh yeah, come over here and fight me. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah, come over here and fight. Eventually. Fail, and you'll not be back. I can't. My Quen just disappeared as the instant I activate it. Death. Oh, what? Surprises. Geralt, stop swinging, dude. One of the problems with World is that he just won't stop swinging. Okay, they automatically wake up if we don't do anything, so I'm just gonna wait. Done on that like throw up thing he does. Whatever. Ouch! Whatever that was that he did. I don't know what potion he just drank. Did he drink a potion? Oh, I think he. I think we had like a bottle of water. Okay. Come on. That like stun is shitty. Come on. Dude, I need my Quen to come back. It's taking a very long time. There you go. I don't know if I changed something that made my uh, Quen come back slower, or my uh, adrenaline regen slower. Cause it feels like it's way slower than it was before. But I don't know what, if anything, I changed. Um, okay, so we need to drink a white honey potion because we're very ill currently. Goodbye. Uh, Get this one? Mouse okay. Mouse yeah. Geralt! Oh my god, you dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> 
last one. Fail. We're out of uh, potions also. Out of swallow anyway. God damn it. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, we had, didn't have any more. I had one of those uh, white wrappers decoction or whatever left over, and that was it. This, like, the darkness and then this weird, like, painting style is actually, my eyes hurt so bad right now. The weird, like, buzzy, like, fuzzy background. You're not yeah. him. Wait, I want to talk. She doesn't want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. Skull laugh it. What's up? Thanks for the six month resub. Congrats on the burger upgrade. Uh. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. <laughs> Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate, because at heart he's unhappy. At heart he is stone, so nothing has changed. And did... did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift.
Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. Friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest, if I take the rose, you might cease to exist, as might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer, but I fear there will be cold and darkness until there is nothing at all. I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Olgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell. Back to the world where I can see. Hooray! I'm not blind anymore. Um... There are a lot of people watching who have not seen any of this game before, and have not seen the, the DLC. So if people are answering questions in, like, ways that are not fully descriptive of every character and every moment in the game, there's a reason for that. Um, and I appreciate that people are actively trying to avoid spoiling things in game for people who haven't seen this before. Um, I like how the thing tells us to go this way, but can we like break it? No, um, to go around. I appreciate that people are trying to not spoil major parts of the story for the other people who may not have played this game before. Um, and if somebody goes through the trouble of, like, answering your question, probably what you mean to say is thank you, rather than insulting them. Is Twitter dead for anyone else? There's actually a website, I don't know if you know about it, 
there's a website called like what is it is it down for me is it down for just me or everyone else i forget the exact domain name you can probably google that though and you can look up websites to see if they're actually down or not or if it's just you see you later sledge Oh wait, I went totally the wrong direction from where I was trying to go, which was to this mark. We're just uninterested in playing it. Well, but it's... Uh, like, just because one person doesn't care about spoilers doesn't mean that they're the only person watching the stream and participating in the chat. There's like... There's a few hundred people here. Just because a few people have played it and have seen this and like know where the stories go, etc, etc. Like, that's... There's a lot of other people here. And my head hurts from... Like, my eyeballs actually hurt from that whole section of the game. Okay, I'm gonna go buy, like, a bunch of food and stuff because being out of that was really shitty for... Um... That whole section is really hard. Uh, what do we buy food from? Hi, do you have food? Welcome, welcome. And like, if you so if you have a question about a character and somebody, okay, you only have books, and um, somebody gives you kind of a half answer or doesn't completely answer you, you can also just shit. You can also just Google, like you just go to Google and type in your question and get like a full answer full of spoilers if that's what you You've want the new White Take a this dude will have food welcome welcome if you don't like spoilers don't watch the stream what no it's like they're trying not to spoil things that are happening in the f that haven't happened yet like what have you got there if you're watching it in game while it's happening that's a huge difference from that versus telling someone what's gonna happen in like an hour this guy doesn't have that much food so long that's like sitting with somebody watching the game of thrones episode and then telling them how it ends and then being like well if you didn't want it to be spoiled you shouldn't have been watching it actively even though they're only in the first like two minutes of the episode is the whole point of the chat in twitch no no it's not you're that's completely incorrect it is not the point of twitch chat to spoil the story for every single person that comes in here stock in all novigrad very good hide chat or you could just not spoil it i don't why is this this is just really important to you to spoil the game for other people can we eat just literally just onions great give me all your fish bye bye I'd buy tomorrow what you can buy today. What's got into him acting so high and mighty? Must be dealing fist tech. Okay, we actually have food. I don't know what I just drank. That was an accident. Um, alright, put that there. All right, now go to what you got there? Dried mushrooms. Uh. Come to sell them at market. I don't you want to get off my back. There's bully, scrolls, heads, anybody. Going to meet Olgierd. Cool. It's hard 
hard to believe Nanka dabbled in witchcraft. Such a nice old <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Did I read that right or am I did that scene make me blind actually? Starbuck, what the fuck? Jesus Christ, Starbuck. I honestly, I thought that my eyes had gotten so messed up from that last scene that I read that wrong. Sorry. Starbuck, holy shit, dude. Okay, well, uh, thank you to everyone for their incredible generosity. Especially, namely, Starbuck just now for that insane contribution to the mod fundraiser. Holy shit, that was fucking nuts, dude. Um, <laughs> fundraiser was moving too slow. Starbuck was like, we're done. Uh, yeah, that's actually, that's it. That's the full, that's the full goal amount for, uh, for the mod fundraiser. So that means that we've fully funded everyone's vacations to TwitchCon. Um... That's nuts. Starbuck, thank you. I th thank you so much. That's actually insane. Um So it says, Are we there yet? Mod love, you're awesome. See you at TwitchCon. PS, Mink gets to pick the song for this one. Mink, you get to pick. Starbucks the closer. Uh, holy shit, dude. That actually, that's insane. If you guys weren't, didn't know what, what that was for or what's going on, the bottom right of the screen shows you that we're raising money to cover the travel and the hotels and everything for the, um, for some of my mods who are going. That is incredibly generous of you. Thank you so much, Starbuck, and everyone who participated in that. Um, I guess since we've fully funded it, we can just say, like, we're done now? And we're good to go. Yeah. Um, because I said that anything over we would send to charity. I think we'll still be over. Or if we have any left over from what we have raised, then we'll just uh. I'll give that to the charity that I mentioned in that spreadsheet. Um, but I think we just we call it good and we say we're done. So thank you, everyone who contributed to that. We're done a month early, man. Nailed it. Uh, so when should we do? Maybe I could do the stream or the singing stream earlier, huh? I guess I know some people though. Here's the thing. I know some people were saying that they wanted to wait until the end because then they could just pick the song right away. <laughs> but Okay, Mink pick Stairway to Heaven. Or is that what you're picking, Mink, or did you just say that because you were excited about it? But if they're not here now, I don't know how to I don't know how to account for that, I guess, is the thing. Yeah, some people have been waiting, but I don't know what to I don't know how to I don't know what to do with that. Cause I don't know how to like say You pick that one? Alright, cool. Stairway to heaven jumps all immediately to like the number two spot, I think. Ta-da! Oh, that didn't refresh that. Boom. Done. Nailed it. I can't see it because of my screen. Yeah, that jumps to the number two spot. Nuts. Um, 
Lexi coming to visit you on her trip? No, she's not gonna be where I am. She's kind of far. Two points, and be quick about it. Oh, please, good sir, a bit of courtesy. So I look up, and Bob's your uncle. He downs half the barrel in one draft. Gerald, over here. Oi, wait your looks. Use the look of a man who knows how to drink. Thanks. Some other time. Hey now. Don't make me beg. More treats. Show off. Of course I am. Wouldn't you be? Time's a marvelous plaything. And a great spice to use in gingerbread. So, you were listening. Indeed, occasionally I find time manipulation irresistible. Controlling it offers so many appetizing opportunities. Like spiking the soup of unsavory individuals with appropriately ghastly things. You actually control time, or is this just some conjurer's trick? What difference does it make? A big one. Hmm. Let us say, time has always fascinated me. So, I taught myself how best to use it. Why time, of all things? Geralt, there are four dimensions. Length, width, height, and time. What would you have me fall in love with? Width? Come now. Who are you, really? Gauntero Dim, also known... Not what I'm asking. Ah, so you'd rather know what it is I do. In brief, I give folk what they ask for. You might say, I simply grant their wishes. That'd be downright noble if you didn't always demand something in return. Law of the market. I was not the one to coin the phrase, nothing comes free. You're not human, that's clear. So what are you? A demon? A djinn? Do you really wish to know? Yes. No, Geralt. You don't. This one time I shall spare you, and not grant your wish. All who have learned my true name are now either dead, or have met an even worse fate. Yet I still need you. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? I wanted to congratulate you. You acquitted yourself splendidly with Olgierd. In fact, you've almost satisfied your debt. Was supposed to fulfill his three wishes. Did just that. This is where you remove the brand, because we're even. Nearly. To fulfill the terms of the contract to the letter, you must do one more thing. Draw Olgierd to the Temple of Lilvani. We never discussed that. Oh, but we did. As a man of the world, you should know that every contract contains a catch or two. Small print, which, nevertheless, changes the ultimate meaning of the pact. This applies to oral contracts as well. Recall that I said, and I quote, I believe, however, that all will end well, and once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. End quote. Mm, yeah, I remember. Fulfill your end of the bargain, and I will remove the brand. That was the last time you interrupted me while I was talking to someone. What the devil? Why is there a fly in my soup? was waiting. I had an eye out for you. Didn't see you come in. How is it you're here? I'm a witcher. Superhuman quickness. Just one of my many qualities. You tossed this fly in my soup? No. 
No, oh, listen yeah, I carefully. Muted. I was too busy freaking out. Man to yeah. to the Temple of Lilvani. It's south of here. Entrance is inside a cave. <laughs> What's mm -hmm. the commotion? Lilvani's temple. Got it? Aye, got it. Hold that! Your friend, the medic. She were here. Oh. Ask that you look in on her. Thanks. All you missed was me making the sound that that lady just made. Path is hard and full of iron. Blind no drunk he was. Maybe he's been drinking. All you missed was me going, <laughs> and saying that I, well, I said I forgot about it, but then I didn't actually forget. It was just that I wasn't expecting it. Even though I knew that it was gonna happen, it's still like very shocking to see it. Every time it's like, holy shit, dude. Man. God, that's so awful. And how Johnny. like careful, like oh, without any God. struggle, he just like puts Good the spoon in his eye. Like... What happened? Somebody break in? This? Uh, no, just getting ready to move. What? When? When? Where to? Uh, not what I wanted to talk to you about. Or at least not own me, but... I'm leaving, Geralt. The Eastern Front Bye. beckons. I'm Kedwin Bound. So, learn anything about Olgird? Well, I abandoned the books quickly. Decided that if I was going to learn the truth, I'd need to find someone who knows him. Find anyone? Turned out I didn't need to look far. A colleague at the Academy, an assistant to Professor Premathine Shakeslock, claims Olgird von Everick met with the Professor multiple times. Hmm. Apparently, Olgird asked the Professor to do some research. Professor got so worked up doing it, he went daffy. Started jealously guarding his notes. Wouldn't even let his assistant look at them. The Professor. Where'll I find him? Here in Oxenfurt. Cloistered inside his house on Academy grounds. Mage hunters guard his door. Mage hunters at the door. He under house arrest? I can't say, really. Some of the faculty think him a traitor. Say he sold out to the hunters for a hefty pouch of gold. The assistant, on the other hand, insists the Professor wants him there to protect him. I don't know what from. What's your guess? He's certainly useful to them. A specialist in black magic and the occult? Must be a trove of knowledge. If he's really gone off his nutter, I wouldn't be surprised to see them using him. Need to talk to this professor. We'll go together. Redanian guards all over the academy. Doubt you'll get in alone. Guards have never stopped me. You know that. Mm. Wound these, and I'll have to patch them up. Besides, we might run into a friend, get inside free and easy. 